Hi, it's Dan from the Boom Breakfast. I'm at the uh, Aquazosity Mohawk Casino Resort, and uh, this is brand new, and there's a whole bunch on the other side uh, where Kathy is right now that you can't see. We're gonna take you on a tour. It's probably been a while like me since you've been here. Uh, the last time I was here was probably in the fall for a whiskey show, and it was phenomenal. Uh, but this was not here, so this is the new stuff. This is my friend Benny. Uh, he works here and he knows all about this place. I'm just, I would just take you to the maple room for a steak or maybe have a pint with you at Sticks, but we'll get to in a little bit. So Benny, let's start with the poker room. It's absolutely beautiful. But tell us a little bit uh, for those out there who like to play uh, Texas Hold'em or Five Card Stud, uh, what happens here? Well, we just brought uh, poker back not too long ago by popular demand. As you can see behind me, we have five tables. Uh, you can go online, www.mohawkcasino.com, to see what the uh, rates are, but also when the hours of operation are. And it's been popular at this point. Kathy, if you want to zoom up here to the poker room, it shows that we have a bad beat jackpot. So it's been seated at $10,000, and you can see primary jackpots, secondary jackpots as well. So when you come in, you're going to be eligible to participate in these multi-progressive uh, jackpots for poker. Uh, it's been supremely popular right now, and we're really excited to bring it back. So. And on top of the poker room, if you just kind of look over this way, uh, for this week, if you come down sooner than later, uh, these arcade games are actually free. You can come and test them out for yourself uh, while they are promoting this new area. Um, I think maybe we should go to the uh, virtual blackjack. Absolutely. We just finished playing uh, some hands, and it's pretty cool. have a pool table and it's located near the bar which is the perfect place for it if you've ever gone shoot pool. So as you're looking around you'll see that the back side of the bar this is our expansion you'll see bar top tables an additional bar we have the pool table virtual blackjack we actually have virtual um, darts as well so this is becoming an adult gaming lounge so you can see there's a lot more to do here at the casino outside of this gaming uh, so this is just to attract maybe the millennials, maybe uh, another type of clientele, but we want to ensure that people know that there's a lot going on here at the casino. Well, and I'm sure that there is the casino in the world with real guards. That would be very big. <laughs> <Right? laughs> exactly. <laughs> that becomes a security issue. Okay, so here we have our virtual blackjack machine. We have five terminals, so you can bet minimum $3. And if you come closer onto our you can see your minimum bets, one, five, 10, 25, 50, and $100. So with five seats, you also have a timing mechanism on here that will allow you to place your bets before our virtual dealer goes into our motions. So we just had fun, we played a little bit. I think $20 lasted us maybe, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah, the, a lot of fun. The dealer was really good on that one. <laughs> can we walk through uh, the Cedars Lounge here? Sure. Cascades. Oh, sorry, Cascades, sorry. I've got coffee on the brain. I get ya. So one of the things I really wanted to stress here is the fact that Cascades Lounge does really well on Friday, Saturday nights. We typically do DJs and we do live bands on Saturday nights, but this is a small condensed space and we wanted to expand. Thus, this adult gaming lounge is going to help us do that. So now you can listen to your favorite music on the weekends, grab yourself a beer, and uh, have fun with friends and family while you're here. Maybe you, take a break from gambling. And you can see the stage is here. We do karaoke. Dance <laughs> things that we're looking at is on you know Stanley Cup night we were actually showing all the games here we we're showing NBA finals we want to make ourselves um, somewhat like a sports bar in the same sense where you're gonna be able to see your favorite TV while you're enjoying yourself here at the lounge and if somehow there's live entertainment and they don't have sports up here we're gonna show you where you can go and watch sports at any time when you're here I like that So now we're kind of expanding out to the gaming floor. This is our fire and ice table games area. As you see above, we have the fire above the table games, and then we have ice surrounding it. And this gets really crazy bumping on the weekends, but it's fun and interactive. We can all types of table games that you might want to enjoy. So as we walk through here, uh, what's our next stop? Are we going to go? Uh, we're going to go to Sticks first, and then we're going to go to Cedars. Perfect. So let's go right to Sticks.
So earlier we were at the virtual blackjack behind Cascades in the adult gaming lounge. So now we're upon a virtual roulette table. Now this is just as fun and interactive. So a lot of you folks might be a little intimidated to play a live um, game on our table games, but this is a nice segue. So you have an opportunity to actually play virtually before you might want to jump onto a real live game. So this might be something to try on that. Oh, well, you never know. Do I get to keep the money if I win? <laughs> now, we're stopping at this machine primarily because it's going to show you we have Canadian flags upon the top of the machines. That indicates... And you'll also see directly on here... This indicates this is Canadian currency slot machines. We have 130 slot machines that accept Canadian currency now. So it's a ticket in, ticket out. So you put Canadian in, you'll get Canadian out. We actually have uh, ticket redemption centers as well that'll take your Canadian ticket and actually give you back Canadian money. So that's a huge draw. Well, it's a big one, right? Because a lot of people are upset with the exchange. It hasn't been super good lately, but now you can come over and not even worry about it. Right, we also have uh, Win Canadian, Play Canadian, we have the Bingo Palace. Uh, we have a lot of emotional specials that are directly driven for our Canadian guests. We so, want to keep them over. when people want to know the specials, can they sign up for something on your website, Facebook page? Where is the best place for them to go? www.mohawkcasino.com is the best place to find out what's upcoming for promotion, special events, entertainment, but it also gives you a breakdown on the promotion page of what there is for our Canadian guests as well. You'll see food specials, and you'll see entertainment coming. We have Billy Gilman coming on Friday as well. So, we're excited for what we're transitioning into, which is basically what we mentioned earlier a one stop shop for entertainment. All right, let's go fast. Right, let's go. And you can see as we walk around here, it's big. There's a lot of games, so you don't have to sit and wait for your uh, your machine to open up. Oh. We have 1,800 slot machines. We also have a bingo palace, as a reference earlier. We have a gift shop. We have a spa. So again, I do think you going back to that, but it's enough to stress that this is a one-stop shop. You can do whatever you want to do. with these beams here, I don't know. Well, for me, uh, it directs a little bit more towards sticks, which is our <laughs> sports bar. You can get a drink and you get your favorite burger here. So let's take a look inside. As you can see, the theme for sticks is our lacrosse here. Being from Uncle Zusky, it's a big part of our culture and our game here. And as you walk in, you can see some of the tables. Some of the jerseys on the side here, um, replicas from a lot of our sports athletes from the community of Wapazesme, so we actually enshrined them in a small dedication ceremony to some of our you know, dedicated lacrosse players throughout the you know, generations. So, and again, this becomes a really hot spot for any type of entertainment. Uh, when it comes to a sporting final, they have a drop down projector screen right above Dan and I. It'll just come right down, and so you can see all sports, right off the bat here. And uh, if you're a Suds lover like me, uh, you can see over at the bar that they have a whole bunch of caps, and that doesn't include what they would have on the menu, because if you're enjoying your favorite lacrosse game, foot, football season is coming yeah, up very shortly. Now that hockey and uh, basketball are uh, done their championships, this is a great place to watch the game. So sometimes, uh, if your friends are either into gambling and you just never come with them because eh, it's not for you, I like to gamble, but sometimes they have a bigger budget than I do. Yes. Uh, but I don't mind waiting because I can just come here and belly up to the bar. And, you know, they, they'll change the channel if you're sitting in front of the TV or whatever sport you want to watch. Have a drink and just hang out, and the food is mm, so good, so good. Absolutely. I think one of our biggest draws are typically our UFC nights. So whenever there's a big fight coming on, um, all these TVs will be turned to UFC, and it turns into a really big spectacle here at the casinos. So. And as our TVs both at Six and at Cascades as well, wherever there's a TV, mostly there, there's going to be an opportunity to see what's on. All right. Now let's go get some coffee. Coffee time. Our 
hip shot this little lap. I thought sticks was a gift shop. <laughs> For me. <laughs> All right, so now we're entering into the lobby of the hotel. Quick, everyone, hi. We're live. Tell you what I love. No, see, well, this is this is Buck Cook. Okay, so if you have not met Buck, okay. We are live. This is Ben Blair. Ben or Dan? Dan. Call me whatever you want. No, look at you. I'm not going to call you whatever you want. How are you doing? It was fun. Uh, we're just uh, hanging out at Dual 1019 Facebook page. You're getting a tour of uh, the Casino Resort. Nice, man. That is impressive. Any the area? Absolutely. Great here, man. I only have one complaint. That's very good. The Maple Room's not open. It is. The Maple Room's actually not open. When I do a Sunday, I will say this. It is worth the wait. Oh, trust me, I know. That's true. I'm not saying that from a bias action because I work here and live here. Uh, that's about time for a My wife had it from our Well, I, I will tell you uh, on behalf of myself, Bill Holman, Nate Carr, Gentry from Nate Carr? Yeah, yeah. Never heard of it. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. That was great. We, we had a meal here and it was at the Maple Room. So I'm, I'm familiar. And if you like fine dining, we have a question. How far is the casino from Walmart? <laughs> from Walmart? Wow. That's a reference point for everybody. So we can't tell you how long it's going to take you to cross the border, but coming over here today from Walmart would have taken me all of 14 to 17 minutes. 20 tops. So yeah, it really it's not depends. Far. It's not it really far. depends on, you know, Which the part? border. Yeah. If you're talking about the one that's right off the border. Yeah, you know, nice. it's, it's relatively close. You're just crossing the two bridges, and then once you cross into the state side, you're looking at about a five minute drive to the casino. Depending so, on the shortest. So, of course, you're looking at Canadian holidays, things like that, Ramadan, yeah. stuff like that. But just to let you know, there's also a Walmart here on the west side. <laughs> there are Walmarts everywhere. We're all across the border. We're international people. It's amazing. It's Canadian Walmart. I love it. So, let's check out Cedars there in the coffee shop. Take care, guys. Have a best. Nice to meet you, Mark. You're all the best, man. Thank you. So again, we're really excited to bring to you Cedars Coffee. Uh, with Cedars, we serve Starbucks. We serve a lot of the pastries and donuts. Okay. Uh, we actually have small drinks as well to the right. And we're going to actually go through and place an order really quick and see what we like for Starbucks. Look at that. I'm down. You're okay. So this is Dan on first time here at Cedars? I assume, right? Yes, at Cedars, yes. And you've been to Starbucks before, correct? Yes. Alright, so now we're just gonna watch you go through and see what see how you see how you like it. Alright. So should I throw you a curveball? Sure. No, there's no curveball here. Can I do a uh, grande americano with little I'm I'm simple coffee guy. I don't drink the. Uh, or was I supposed to challenge them? I know you can. We'll do it in America. Do you mean it's No, thanks. My name is Dan. Yes. I think Ben is paying. Okay, so we're all good. So again, we just opened this up. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Uh, when did we open here? Oh, April 8th. Okay, so I'm glad somebody knew that. April 8th, we opened here. Um, so you see this is a kiosk just outside of the lobby for the hotel. Uh, we could also take you on a little tour of the hotel as well. But this has become a very good destination for us coffee lovers. Now me, I'm terrified of espresso, so I kind of stay away from that. I'm sensitive to caffeine. So I usually come here and get one of the um, smoothies, <laughs> the fruit drinks, or one of the uh, peach teas as well. But always good service, always with a smile, and, and we're happy and that we're here. And you can take this anywhere in the casino afterwards. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're not dealing with any type of glass, so you're gonna be fine. Okay. And actually, we like that. Um, it's actually promotion and stuff. You're gonna get one of the Starbucks cups. You go onto the floor, and people might ask you, "Where did you get it?" Well, I'm right over here to Cedars, and you might have an opportunity to get one yourself. And if you just need a little bit of a breather, you can see they have a nice little lounge area with some comfy chairs. I know, I 
should have got a coffee myself, but now I'm thinking, well, if I do, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm actually, let's get a coffee. Okay. Okay, so let's do a tea. What is your recommendation? I'm going to do a passion tea lemonade. Um, so as you can see below here as well, I mean, just for a quick grab and go, you can also just find quick food, drinks, and again, pastries, desserts up top. We just want to ensure that people have an opportunity when they're passing to their hotel room or coming onto the gaming floor that we provide a little something extra for you. Man, how are you making out over there? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm ready to go gambling. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to wait for my passion tea and see. Is this a frozen or hot? Okay, cool. So if you're just uh, tuning into our little tour here, I want to say welcome, number one. Uh, but what you missed early on, and you can go back and uh, play it back a little bit later, I don't know if you can rewind on Facebook Live, but a little bit earlier, uh, we checked out the new area of what they have here, and that's why I'm here today, to uh, help promote their new Cascades Lounge area, the new poker room, their new arcade games that they have there, pool tables, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we just went by all the slot machines that take Canadian and pay Canadian, so if you haven't been coming because you haven't been fussy on the Canadian dollar versus the US dollar. You don't have to worry about it. You can come here and play Canadian and win Canadian. They've taken care of that for you. It's really cool. Yeah, so, you know, we just wanted to thank Dan Allaire for coming in as well. Oh, we do have a lot of expansions happening here at the casino. Again, check us out, www.mohawkcasino.com. Like us on Facebook. You can see upcoming promotions, special events, entertainment. We have Billy Gilman coming on Friday. He took second on The Voice last year. Uh, we also have Tribute to the Beach Boys coming up in July, so it's always something to do, and I can't reference this enough about this is a one-stop shop. If you're not a gambler per se, there's other things you can do, including our new adult gaming lounge behind Cascades Lounge. You'll find pool tables, you'll find dartboards, electronic blackjack. Um, there's a lot to do here. So, and why fun? It's free. And we, and we haven't gone by the buffet yet, but <laughs> look, I... <clears throat> uh, excuse yeah, me, we, uh, we could do some damage. And, uh, so what happens if you have this buffet is insane. There's been a lineup since I got here. What time is it right now? I like 2.30ish. So I've been here uh, two hours and change. There's been a lineup the whole time. You know why they're waiting in line? Because it's worth it. The food is phenomenal. There's a ton of stuff from seafood to meats to chicken to salads to vegetables to fruits uh, to desserts. Prime rib. You're speaking my language. Yeah, I like your language as well. I'm fluent. So when you go to the buffet, especially at night, you're going to look at shrimp. You're going to look at prime rib. You're going to have all the fixings, and it is all you can eat. So again, if you're a big man like myself, you could do damage at the buffet. You're always going to get your money's worth. Great service, great environment, and you know, Native Harvest Buffet. It's amazing. My drink is almost ready. Here it comes. I like it. It's pretty too. It is. It is. Courtney, I appreciate it. Okay. So what's uh, what's the next stop? All right, so let's head on down to the Bingo Palace area. All right. They have their, that's what the resort part is. There's a beautiful hotel here. We're not going to go through the hotel, but trust me, it's well worth staying overnight. The rooms are absolutely gorgeous. I've been through some of the banquet halls as well, coming over here for the whiskey show last fall, and they put on top notch events. So let's go find the bingo right. castle. And again, we're doing this live to give you a real time feel as to how big this place is, so you know that you're not going to have to wait for a machine or you know, the only lineup I've seen is at the buffet, and that's a good thing. 
Now, before we go ahead, I do want to mention one important point. One question that a lot of our guests ask, are children allowed on property? Now, if you look behind me, we have a red carpet. That red carpet will walk you directly to any one of our food venues. Underage is allowed on the red carpet to and from food venues. So if you want to bring your kids to the buffet, you're more than welcome to do so. Oh, I did like, not know. It's yeah, good so the red carpet is absolutely. It's kind of like the yellow brick road, but right. red. So as long as the children stay in the red and they're escorted by their guardian or a parent, they're allowed on the game floor. Right on. So we're going to follow the red, red brick road. So we have a lot of jackpots that go out on a week-to-week, month-to-month basis. I'd like to replace that Daniel's uh, face with that's, this Daniel's That's kind of why I was right? stopping. I mean, Dan to Dan, you could be the next person on there. Well, listen, I'm rich right now. I've got myself a three ninety nine dollars Americano from Cedar's Coffee Shop, so I'm winning. You're ahead of the game. I love the sound of a casino. Down. This is the buffet we've been talking about, Native Harvest. You can see the hustle and bustle going through here already. Again, this is open until 11 p.m. And you will see a sheer amount of people going through this on a day-to-day -day basis. Because the food is delicious, it's consistent, and you get your money's worth for the amount that you can eat. So now we have more Canadian currency machines. Again, so if you're looking for the Canadian currency when you're here, that's what you're looking for. We have small flags on top of the machines, and they'll take Canadian currency. When you get your ticket out, it'll be Canadian currency as well. I thought you guys were just getting ready for our test with Centennial. <laughs> that too. So this is the Maple Room. Our, this is my favorite spot here And uh, you can just see the menu is crazy good. What a lot of people like about Maple Room too, not only do you get seafood and steaks, but it is a quiet oasis away from the busy gaming floor. It's surprising when you go in how it shuts off this outside noise. But again, to what Dan was alluding to, some of the best steak you're going to get in the area. You know, come in, give it a try. I'd just like to highlight this. Maple Room Pork Belly. Let it sink in. We found a fan, Kathy. Oh, we found oh, a fan. A long time ago. Now we're heading into the west wing of the property. For those of you that aren't aware, or maybe we were here back in 1999, what we're walking into used to be our original showroom area. So now it's converted into a the additional food. Now we're going to go into the big Spin that wheel! place never ends. But what a lot of people like about this is, though it's big, it's still not condensed. You're going to get the room to move around, you're going to get the room to be social, but in the less confined space. information but you gotta realize that when we here at the casino we actually have different types of gaming. 
the class two and class three. You just walked in the class two game, which is more the bingo side of it. Okay. So all these machines, they actually are attached to a bingo card. So there's a different element of gaming when you're in here. Uh, we also have some gaming machines in here as well. So we'll take a look at the Yeah, and don't worry about getting a seat at the bingo hall. It's huge. Wait a minute. We're on the U.S. side, right? It's yes. huge. It's huge. <laughs> So walking through our mall in the palace, as you can see, we seat about 550 people. We have TVs surrounding the entire unit, and we have sessions throughout the week. So there's a lot going on here. Now, on Friday, I alluded to this earlier, this transitions into a giant entertainment venue. We are hosting Billy Gilman in here. We'll seat a thousand people in here, auditorium style. And you said you had a uh, Beach Boys tribute coming? And I noticed on the way by on the poster a Journey tribute coming. Oh, I can't wait for Journey. Journey's definitely coming. Um, then we have October, November, December as well. So again, there's always something going on here. Well, That's one of the of reasons coming. we were here last year, uh, we gave away some tickets to some lucky listeners uh, to the Blue Oyster Call. Oh, yes, right? yes. So it was a great show. Can I do one thing before sure. we leave? We can stay right there. It's got to be one. Yeah, so you know when we look at everything that the casino has to offer, we could go on all day and do this, um, but it gives you a really quick synopsis of what we have to offer for gaming, for food, for entertainment, for lodging, um, even for gift shop. So I was really hoping to keep this tour going until we finished our coffee and went and had a beer at Sticks. So I'm just teasing you. Is well, there, we, we could, but probably at a different time. So as we kind of wind the tour down, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, you can go back and catch different sections and find out all the stuff that we visited. Uh, but how do you want to wrap this up? What's the, what's the takeaway for everyone to remember? I think especially for people listening on the radio station and watching um, our Facebook Live video is how accessible we are um, to our Canadian guests just crossing the border. We're approximately 15 minutes from Cornwall pending the traffic over the border and we have a lot to offer. I guess that's, for me, that's what I'd like to just say. We have a lot to offer Canadian guests. On behalf of Benny, thank you for the coffee, my friend. I appreciate it. Kathy, our, uh, our Gelman, filming us on Facebook Live today. Thank you for joining us and come down and see this for yourself at the uh, Aquazosny Mohawk Casino Resort. Thanks, guys. <laughs>